Hello everyone, this is a uh, South Pole partner. I told uh I told uh Autobot fan I would do an audition for his uh series the uh, what what what's what with jazz. Um I'm gonna go ahead do an audition real quick, it's not gonna be great. I'm not a great person or a great voice voice actor. Um, really the best I have is, uh, and I'm sorry, some of my lines are cut off here. So, give me one second. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to improv some of the lines because I can't see them all, uh, with the way my screen is divided up. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> hey everyone, Jazz here, bringing you an exciting episode of What's What with Jazz. Now today we'll be having a very special guest on the show. Please welcome the second in command, Jetfire. Hey Jetfire, how are you today? Well, that's great to hear. Well, let's... Well, let's get to the question, shall we? Alright, I'm, uh, <laughs> sorry, I, <laughs> mm, that's the best I've got for Jazz's voice, just to repeat the lines. Well, what's up, one Jazz here, bring you an exciting episode of What's What with Jazz. We'll be having a special, uh, guest on the show today, so please welcome the second in command, Jetfire. So how are you today, Jetfire? Well, that's good to hear. Let's get on to the questions. That's the best I have. That's again, it's not great. I'm not a great person. So, uh, also, uh, I'm gonna jump gears and talk about randomness. Um, the video that D Train and I made um, a couple weeks ago. Talking about the future of TFI with the movies up and everything. Um, I was supposed to mention a YouTuber by the name of Fat Ninja Walrus. Uh, he was uh, planning on making a uh, stop motion series, uh, but he had told me only if he could get a fairly large number of subscribers. If he can get a decent amount of subscribers, he'll go ahead and do it. And I told him, well, I'll mention your name, because I really want to see what you can do, because really this guy is talented. Uh, Skill-wise, he, uh, you know, he, he bon or, uh, he, uh, he, he kills me. He's, he's way better than I am. Skill-wise, storyline-wise, I might be a better writer. Ha <laughs> ho! Um, we'll see. You know, uh, y'all check him out, uh, cause really, he, he was doing a, he, bleh, he told me he would do a, uh, Beast Wars stop motion if he got the subscribers, uh, and you all know I love Beast Wars, Optimus Primal, heck yeah, so, uh, do me a favor, subscribe to the little spaz known as Fat Ninja Walrus, so I can witness his awesome nimity. Yes. Uh, speaking of TFI, I I had mentioned the video talking about TFI, which led me to talking about Fat Ninja Walrus, which reminded me of TFI. Uh, gosh, I'm no near done on that thing. Honestly, I have one whole part done. And mm, we have an official release date now. It is officially my twenty eighth. For two reasons. One, uh, that is actually surprisingly my first full day of my summer vacation. Uh and two, um, it is Mr. Cat Ball's birthday. I will post a link in the annotations to him. He is a uh, fairly good reviewer. Something tells me he also did stop motions. I, 
I'm sorry, man. I've been blanking out a lot lately on a lot of things. Uh, yeah, it's his birthday. He inquired as to if I would be willing to put it up that day. Uh, regardless of circumstance, and I said, I'll see what I can do. Um, someone somewhere is thinking, I wonder if I ask him to put something up on my birthday, if he'll do it. No, no, no. This, no. Uh, also, I told Spall of a... Uh, slagging a huge amount of numbers, that... Uh, he had asked me, what am I going to do after TFI, you know, stop motion-wise. I said, probably nothing. Uh, because I couldn't think of a different enough storyline to do. Because I don't, I don't want to do anything cliche. I don't want to do what's typical. Uh, I don't want to do what's already been done. Uh, you know, I'm all about doing things ridiculously uh, differently. Um... And I told him I can't think of a different enough storyline to where it'd actually be worth filming. <sighs> well, after I t told him that, I got off the computer and I went to Taco Bell. Because I wanted a Mountain Dew Baja Blast and I felt like eating tacos. And I'm sitting there in the drive thru waiting to pull up and <sighs> Pop Goes the Weasel thought of something. <laughs> so I'm happy to announce that as soon as TFI the movie goes up, uh, I will begin production of a stop motion movie known as Transformers Mark of Deception. It will not be green screen at all. Maybe a few flying effects here and there, but it will not be green screen like how TFI was green screen. It will be just a fight around my bedroom like how Night Slash does it, like how uh, Nova Blast does it, basically like how everyone else who's not me does it. <laughs> I'm finally jumping on the bandwagon. Someone somewhere is happy, someone somewhere is ticked off. Um, that's all you're gonna get out of me, is a title. I'll try and get a, uh, a trailer posted halfway through the summer. We'll see. I'm gonna cut all... stop all filming the week of June 24th because that is when Transformers 2 comes out uh, I'm having a boatload of people over to my house to uh, watch the first one the night before two nights before and then the night before I'm gonna go and wait at my movie theater and then at midnight I'm gonna see ETF 2 and so I'm cutting filming because I want every single solitary Transformer I have out in my living room when everyone's over to watch the first one um, and then after I'm done with uh, Mark of Deception, I've got a classified project that you all will not know anything about. And that classified project, I can tell you, will go up sometime December of 2010. Yeah, I'm making you wait. Shut up, get over it. Um... I love being blunt, it's so great. Um, and then after that, after my classified project, I have an untitled project that I'm going to work on for who knows how long. I don't know if I covered this already. I'm going to cover it again with the... Never mind, I don't have time. I'll make it quick. Basically, I had some people ask me if they could do voices for me. The answer is no, I'm terribly sorry. It's just that, one, it's a lot of work trying to contact you, send you the line, get you to record them in a file format that I can use, just because I know in the past I've sent people lines and they've had problems using them. And it, really, it, it's just a big hassle. Plus, there's something about the aesthetic of using people that I know personally offline as voices that, you know, there are people I know, people you don't know. Um, so I might maybe do, like, one-liner, like, cameo voices, like, I might have, like, you know, oh boy, we're running out of time to talk to the 